Well, as you can see, it burns quite, quite cleanly. That's the, you know, the crap that's left from last night. And um, you know, it's more like uh, cinders you would get in a, a, lo a wood stove or something like that. Um, you know, it's not. It, it's more like charcoal or something. But um, that's it. You know, and it ran for quite a few hours with with um, with that in it. I put some more oil in it afterwards. But in any case, you know. There's some soot there, um, and uh, a quantity, maybe a quarter of the uh, the, the, the pot has uh, carbon or whatever you'd call it in waste matter, um, and that's the inside of the the stove. This is the separator plate I made up. It's just like a big washer, you know, with a with a hole big enough for the burn unit in it. Um, and then this white crap on the stove that I'm going to grind off. Um, <coughs> unfortunately, the glass um, burnt out, or not burnt out, but it broke um, as the stove was cooling down or something. It was okay when I left the uh, shed last night, and I came out this morning, and that's what was left of my Pyrex dish. So, obviously, I hadn't put enough um, expansion room in there, so i got to sort that out. So I'm going to do that now in a few minutes. Um, simple hinges, or not hinges, but simple uh, closing mechanism, and the hinge, you know, very easy. Um, it's possible to, you know, th there's a bit of welding on this stove, but it's possible to make the actual um, conversion from a propane tank to a stove without welding, even including um, putting this division, you know, to make two separate chambers, even even doing that, you could, uh, you know, if you had no welding equipment or no ability to weld, um, you could cut the disc and uh, put some sort of a shelf on the inside for it to sit on and uh, put some fiberglass or, you know, asbestos type, not that asbestos is available, but, you know, some sort of a similar item um, to, to seal it. Um, bolted down. Same with these. Uh, I welded this little lip on. It's uh, I put it on as a seal so that the door kind of closes tightly against it. Um, I was going to put some um, high temperature silicone, but given the temperatures this thing gets to when I crank it up, I don't think it would last. But either way, it's a nice tight fit. It, it really, it really closes down on it. Um, you can see it. It pulls in very very tight and when it was running last night it had no problems about air infiltration through you know by other means um, but if you're going to run it as a, a multi-fuel stove um, it needs to have the chamber in it or at least that's my version of it um, someone else <coughs> might come up with a different solution but for me um, I'm amazed with the way it works it's just stunning an amazing amount of heat how long the the, uh, the propane tank lasts uh, with that sort of um, heat output I'm not sure but um, easy enough to come by and uh, you know a few hours work um, you end up with a fairly decent shop stove uh, the components for this whole setup uh, with the exclusion of the, the, the flu that's it on the floor um, stainless steel pot that sits on it. These, this bolts it down, pulls the handles up to the up to the brake disc and, uh, and that's it, makes a nice tight seal and the oil goes in through this 30 millimeter hole. I do have two air holes at the back um, you know for letting air in. They're uh, 10 stroke 12 mil holes and um, another one back here but uh, you know so if you had a drill, a jigsaw you would need somebody to weld this, but I have seen one done where it was just clamped on. Somebody put um, you know, a bit of a clamp, make a um, drilled into this, and a clamp drilled onto that, and it just pulled down onto it. So, as I say, it's possible to knock up one of these stoves without without any uh, welding equipment or ability to weld. And uh, amazing, no, really amazing. Over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit uh, last night did this. <laughs> just. And uh, I need to, to get this crap off it now. Down lower, um, because that's where the, the, the division is, along here. 
uh, this part down here doesn't get as hot. Now you're getting the radiated heat from the burn chamber, which is uh, fairly immense as well. But um, also to, to use it up, or to make it into a stove, a multi-fuel stove, I have to put some sort of uh, air intake here and a handle on this so that when I close it I can regulate the amount of air because if I've got logs in the top part here uh, which I, I will show um, you know you want to be able to regulate the air so it doesn't just go like a steam train and, and burn up all your fuel too quickly so uh, I'll be putting some sort of a screw in um, you know uh, air restrictor okay so that's about it so I'm going to clean this thing up now and um, maybe get some paint on it we'll see but uh, anyway, 